Hi, my name is Stephen Hunt, and I'm the Director of Music at St. Mark's Episcopal Church in West Hampton Beach, New York. Welcome to our parish hall, uh, which is an absolutely beautiful room. And in the corner there, you see William Kanabi, serial number 4399, which puts it between the years of 1850 and 1855. Now, I think this is probably 1852, 1853. Uh, is probably the date on this piano. Uh, so, I just did some extensive hammer work, gave it a good tune, and uh, you might say, wait a minute, 1852, 1853, that doesn't work, that doesn't wash, because you see the double legs, which indicates that it has a, uh, a player action in it. Um, it, in fact, does have an Ampico B, uh, player action that was installed in 1948 by the American Piano Company, which absorbed Kanabi in 1932. And it's a very interesting piano, to say the least. Uh, however, I believe the soundboard to be original, and the, uh, the case is original, of course. Uh, the plate is not. But there's various things about it that that are still extant and original. The key cheeks, the the pedal lyre, which is down here. And by the way, this uh, dolly that it sits on was a custom build in uh, December of 2021. I did that. Um, that was fun. But. Uh, some, this floor had to be refinished because somebody had dragged this thing across the floor on its casters and it put just deep, deep gouges in the floor. So anyway, that's just a little bit of a history about this piano. Um, I won't go too long about it. But Kanabi pianos were admired by uh, Camille Sanson for one. I mean, he was he's an admirer of them, uh, the famous French organist and composer. And uh, this piano was made two, three, four years after Chopin died. So it gives you an idea as to the window in time, as to, to where this piano sits. Um, it's been tuned in Young's earlier temperament, which would have been a temperament that uh, Chopin would have been familiar with. It's been tuned at A432. Uh, which is probably what it was originally tuned in, or somewhere thereabouts. Um, so, I just wanted to show off this piano. It's a it's a very cool piano. It's got a lot of interesting features to it. Um, but uh, it's it's quite an interesting uh, piece of work. I mean, obviously, there's new dampers there. It's People have had at it over time. However, nobody's done anything to disrupt the integrity of the piano, really. Um, the only thing that I would say might do that would be this plate. The plate's not original. Um, if we're going by serial numbers, and if Kanabi serial numbers match up with their plates, uh, as far as year, years made, um, the plate would have been from the 1970s. And judging by the condition of the hammers and the dampers, etc., it looks like that's when that was probably put in. But once again, you know, probably by the American Piano Company or whoever bought it after that, which I think may have been Aeolian. But anyway, um, it's, a, it's a wonderful piano. It's a beautiful piece. And it's a real rare gem. And I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.